how can we accelerate the recovery of patients undergoing knee replacement surgery? Unfortunately, the numbers are just growing, uh, the patients are getting younger and younger, and we're seeing just an incredible increase in the number of patients requiring this type of surgery. It's interesting, we try, I've made it my mission since starting here in, in 1995 to try to lessen the impact of surgical procedures on patients' functional recovery, developing tissue sparing techniques, different injection techniques, and one really simple thing that can help tremendously with recovery after a total knee replacement is something that's very simple, not using a tourniquet. Most patients don't even know what that means or that they even have one on during surgery. I know all of you have had a blood pressure cuff on, and this is basically a tourniquet that we use for a knee replacement surgery. You've all had one on your arm when you've had your blood pressure taken, and you've had it up for just maybe a minute, 30 seconds, two minutes, and it's uncomfortable, it hurts. Imagine that tourniquet going on your leg, and unfortunately 98% of surgeons, 95 to 98% of surgeons, percent of surgeons around the country still use a tourniquet when performing a total knee replacement. The reason is, is that it, once we inflate this tourniquet, it limits the blood flow or essentially stops the blood flow to the leg during the surgical procedure so it keeps the bleeding at bay. The problem is, is that imagine having, just like the blood pressure tourniquet cuff on your arm, having this tourniquet inflated on your leg for 45 minutes, an hour, some surgeons take two, two and a half hours to perform the procedure. It literally crushes your muscle, crushes the nerves, crushes the blood vessels, and in addition, it causes ischemia or lack of blood flow to your foot and the rest of your lower leg. When that tourniquet is deflated and all the, all the ischemic uh, changes that occur to the leg come back into the bloodstream and it has a profound effect on multiple organ systems including your heart, your lungs, your brain, um, just to name a few. In addition, you get a rebound effect of incredible swelling that goes down into your leg and your leg can actually increase in size somewhere between 10 and 15 percent after deflation of the tourniquet even if it's on for a minimal amount of time. It also delays functional recovery of the muscle. So if we're talking about trying to get you up, get you walking, get you moving right away, we've just crushed the muscle for an extended period of time, and that delays your recovery. And we know that it lessens the amount of flexion or motion that you can achieve afterwards because the muscle will be tight. We also find that patients after you've had the tourniquet on, you have more, because of the swelling, you have more wound issues with drainage, and again, lung swelling and you increase your risk for blood clots and DVTs. So it's quite simple. And all I can say is just move the tourniquet. It's all you need to do, and it will really help with your recovery after a new replacement. Thank you.